Attorneys want the death penalty off the table for a woman accused of brutally killing her grandmother in 2012, and they make a request that's a first for the Commonwealth. WLKY's Ann Bowden joins us now with more on this. Hi, Ann. Well, Rick, since this is a death penalty case, Ellen Crawley is up for lethal injection if she is convicted. But her defense says they want to tell the jury the details of her execution and the risks of it going wrong. And if they can't do that, they want the death penalty taken off the table. It's our motion that the judge should take the death penalty off the table because the state is unable to articulate exactly how they intend to execute the accused. The accused is Ellen Crawley, charged with murder in the death of her grandmother. In August of 2012, police arrested Crawley after her grandmother, Mary McLean, was found stuffed in a trash container in Oklahoma. In a taped confession, Crawley reportedly told investigators the two had been fighting, and Crawley hit her grandmother with a skillet. The Commonwealth says it's a death penalty case, and jurors are never told the details of someone's execution. It's none of these things get into what actually happens when a sentence, whether it be prison or death, is executed. Um, the day-to-day -day things, the, the intricacies of it. But the defense says that should change, especially since the drugs involved in lethal injections are right now in question across the nation. In 2011, the manufacturer of the key drug in lethal injections stopped its production, and states began using other drug combinations. Since that change, there have been several published reports about reactions by inmates who suffered extreme pain before their deaths. Crawley's lawyers say this information shouldn't be kept quiet in this death penalty case. The jury has a right to know. While the judge didn't necessarily agree, he did acknowledge the questions surrounding lethal injections and their constitutionality could cause an easy appeal. I sense your attitude is it doesn't matter. If the General Assembly said it's okay to execute people by lethal injection, period, end of story, we're done. And I'm saying, I'm worried an appellate court might say, that doesn't get it. Now, Judge Cunningham has about 30 days to make his ruling and make his decision on this argument. Crawley's trial is still set for June of 2015. Ann Bowden, WLKY News.